Oh wait, this is a little tall. Are you recording? Are you slouched? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Andrew, why is it important that we break out of our echo chambers? One thing that really frustrates me a lot is polarization in the news media. My family, where I grew up, was in a smaller conservative town and a lot of what we would watch on TV is um, news outlets that were, you know, catered really more towards Republicans. I'm talking Fox News um, and otherwise. Whereas friends, um, more often um, than not, especially at the col uh, college level, I saw MSNBC, CNN, and etc. The big issue uh, regarding media then in that sense is really confirmation bias. People are seeking information that really confirms what they believe or perceive um, or narratives that they want to fit with their life. At least that's an argument that I would make. And so because of that, they're missing the nuances and they're missing kind of even a larger scale context of what's going on in the media around them. And I think it's absolutely critically important that we talk to each other um, because we don't talk to each other, we don't understand the different perspectives that people hold, especially when it comes to where we get our news from. Putting people into their filter bubbles based on you know, the news media that they watch, based on the political stances that they have, is just going to feed into the problem of polarization. And if we talk to each other, we will understand that the world is truly more complex than what we think it might be. And issues are really more complex than what we might see in the media. People watching the different things that, that Thank you.